You are listening to Love Up Gaming Podcast, episode 110, Helping a Friend. In today's episode, I talk about the changes coming to the show. More details will be inside the episode, so continue listening. If you'd like to participate in the discussion or leave us feedback, you can contact us at levelupyourgamingpodcast at gmail.com or find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash levelupyourgaming. If you like the content and want to hear more of the show, subscribe and we'll ensure you don't miss an episode. New episodes come out almost every Wednesday. Also, please review, tell a friend about the podcast, or share with your gaming group. Now sit back and enjoy the episode. Welcome to the Level Up Your Gaming Podcast. My name is Aaron, and joining me today is no one. Um, I don't have Jared joining me today. Uh, just this week, uh, I had a conversation with Jared, and uh, although it's painful to say that uh, he just is not enjoying um, doing the podcast as much anymore. Um, he's been having a lot of things going on with his life right now, uh, and it's just become a real drain on him to kind of sit down and do the this commitment of using the platform, the podcast, and, and pro- producing the podcast and being part of it. Um, and the commitment's just too much. He's just, he feels like he doesn't have any free time beyond this, and uh, I understand that. And that's kind of the whole point of this episode. You know, the, the episode's titled Helping Out a Friend. Uh, you know, I've known Jared since we were five years old. Uh, you know, I've been there with him as we've grown up. There's been many different things that have happened throughout life. And this is just another one of those things. Uh, when we started the podcast two years ago, we talked about, you know, we wanted to do this for fun. We wanted to share our gaming insights with a community of people and see if we could, you know, broaden the community, give more insights to a deeper gaming group. And I think we've done that. I think that we've been able to provide that. Um, We've had interactions with different listeners. We've been able to meet some great people along the way. And, you know, I, I really appreciate that we've been able to do all that. I think he appreciates that too, but I think that, as the years have gone on, you know, as we got into the second year, over a hundred episodes of doing this podcast, I think it started to become more of a chore for him than, uh, than it was fun for him to do. Um, you know, it, it, I, I could kind of sense that in myself, uh, when I was talking with him, we went through it. Um, and that kind of came from, you know, different sparks of what he was thinking and, and kind of what was going on. So because this is just, you know, too much for him, he's going to step away from the podcast and I will be continuing the podcast myself. Um, and so because we're going into a solo format, uh, I will kind of move and, you know, reformat the, the episodes. We'll, we'll come up with a new kind of style and structure for it. I'll be able to muse on a subject uh, it won't be as much of the uh, the dialogue back and forth with Jared, but I can at least, you know, think about what, you know, I think about a subject and be able to give you my perspective on it from a longer, um, in a longer format. Uh, and what I'll probably end up doing is, or what I'm thinking of doing, is I would probably try to maybe evolve this to be able to talk with some other people and some other friends I have, uh, you know, maybe, you know, seek out and find some other interviews and things to be able to give other perspectives from other DMs that are out there as well. So, uh, I, you know, send Jared all your best wishes. Uh, you know, I still see him every week. I still will be able to talk with him every week. Um, I'm hoping that I will be able to, uh, still reach out to him, pick his brain if there's something that you wanted to ask him, but from a podcast format on a weekly basis, he just won't be joining us anymore. And again, this is where, like I said, the topic is helping out a friend. And, you know, we, we've, we've used on this several times in the podcast before, which is that, you know, gaming's a shared experience with friends. Um, or at least for most of us, it's a shared experience with friends or loved ones. I mean, if you do this with your children, I know, you know, gaming groups come in all shapes and sizes. Even if you're doing it with people who you barely know online, you're still doing it with people who are there to have fun and to enjoy the experience with one another. And so it's really important that, you know, you take into consideration their feelings on on different subjects and that we make sure that everybody is having fun. The goal is to have fun at the end of the day. You wouldn't do this 
uh, hobby if it wasn't enjoyable. You know, you wouldn't spend your resource of time and your, you know, your passion of, you know, that you have for the hobby. You, you wouldn't do that if you weren't getting something out of it, if it wasn't, uh, you know, providing you some level of joy or benefit or enriching your lives. And that's, you know, that's true for anything that you do in the world. You, I mean, there's times that you, I'm sure you probably waste time sitting in front of TVs and, you know, your phone and, and different things. But th this is a, this is a del very deliberate hobby. It, you know, it takes effort and planning from a GM perspective. It takes, uh, you know, not just time to sit down and play from a player perspective, but it also takes effort in terms of planning your progression as a character, um, where you want to go next, uh, the types of stories that you want to be a part of as a player, the types of challenges that you maybe want to put upon yourself. And, you know, your investment in kind of hearing someone's, you know, overall mastermind of a plot uh, and, and being able to kind of see that come together, that's, you know... That takes that takes a lot of effort and it takes you know hours every week you know every other week depending on how often you came and if you aren't committed to the consistency of it then you're you're ultimately going to have a much harder time being invested in the game because you know it's just something that you do uh, from time to time but even if you still do it only you know once every three four five weeks you, know, you get together once a year to play it for a weekend whatever it may be, you're still investing a significant amount of time out of your day to, to work on it. So uh, the ultimate goal is that you're trying to have fun. And again, because fun is so important, that's why I can't fault Jared. I'm not upset with Jared or anything like that. Um, you know, I, I totally understand where he came, where he's coming from. I, you know, I have to put away the, you know, I, I selfishly would love to continue doing this podcast with Jared. I, you know, he's a very good friend of mine and he offers great insight. He's, you know, uh, I guess a little mix of philosophical with a uh, tangential uh, storytelling that he, he kind of loses track of, of where he's going and, and, mi and missing the subject, but he, he's, he's got very good insight. He's just been, he's been our GM for so long at our table. And I say he's been our GM because he is the de facto GM. Everybody has one at the table. Um, you know who that guy is, okay? You know that, you know, in the DMD group, I know it's, it's Scott. Scott's the DM. I know that Bill hit, was the DM for a long time, but Scott's the DM as far as I, I'm, I'm aware for that group. And even if other people step up to the plate, he'll always be known as the DM. And that's what Jared is to us. Jared has always been the DM. He has been the director of our games and he has been, you know, instrumental in terms of shifting and evolving our game style. And, you know, he's done it in ways that have been good and bad. And that's part of what the podcast was here to show is, you know, what did we learn <laughs> from 20 years trying to get to where we are today and, you know, maybe try to help you short circuit some of those things. Um, and again, the, the podcast has always been more of a, uh, uh, you know, going pirates of the Caribbean here, you know, they're, they're guidelines. They're not, you know, hard, fast rules. You're allowed to sort of experience the podcast, you know, your own way, take it with a grain of salt. Um, you know, we've done some controversial episodes. We've done episodes on cheating. We had done episodes on, uh, we've done episodes on subjects that, that you know, I don't think people really think about as, as necessary episodes in some ways in terms of, uh, you know, again, talk about your feelings and, and you know, where, where you're going and trying to be able to, uh, you know, keep the cohesion of your table together. And I think that that's more of what we're trying to get to with some of the episodes like, uh, you, know, you know, what happens when you have disagreements at the table. It's about cohesion in the table because the, you aren't playing with the character in front of you, you're playing with the player in front of you. And no matter how good you are as a thespian or you know, however you good are at role-playing, you are going to take anything that is said at that table personally and, uh, you know, to heart. And so when you, when, when you, look at it that way you need to understand that you know 
I'm appealing to the person, um, they're trying to translate that appeal into what their character sees uh, as, you know, the light in this world that you've created. And so everything goes to the player first, and that trickles into the to the character. I can't appeal to the character alone because the character has no soul without the person behind them. And again, that's why it's it's just really important to um, you know understand that when you're putting together uh, a game, when we're putting together this podcast here, that we are you know having fun. That's the end goal of the of the the situation here, and it's hanging out with friends. Um, you know, we, we had a long conversation about everything that went on here, and it's true. If you don't enjoy uh, the gaming experience, uh, you know, if you don't enjoy anything in life, you should not uh, sit there, grit your teeth, and bear through it. I know we do that with uh, jobs, and we do that in different relationships we have, and in all sorts of other situations, but you really should be vocalizing and expressing at some point your frustration with something because the, the truth is that you, your life is, well, long in the, the grand context of things, it is also short too. I mean, you you do the hobby because you love it. You don't do the hobby because you're required to do it. And you don't game with, with Steve, Bob, Jessica, because you have to, you do it because you love it, because those are your people. And they're able to provide you that escape and get away and be able to give you that thing that, that refills your cup and makes you happy. And so Jared loves game, and we're going to keep doing game, and I'm going to keep giving you insights from our game. Um, but as a friend, I, he doesn't love, he just didn't love doing the podcast. I think he really derive some joy from it it always helped he loves talking about game he just didn't want to have to make that uh you know his job and that's that's really why he he, he was stepping away from the game it was just too much you know it does it that doesn't refill his cup it takes from the cup so um you know i i wish him the best in that regard and again look at your friends be willing to help them out and again, because I said we, we, we talk about that from the gaming perspective here. If somebody is, you're noticing somebody at your table just isn't in love with the game, you know, we, we talked about it before. Look at yourself. Is it something I'm doing? Is it the story I'm telling? Is it that person? And then have a conversation with them and see why they aren't having fun. See what you can do. And maybe the answer is, hey, you know, we're good friends. We can hang out. But this isn't something that you, you, you're you loving to do. Like, you don't need to do it. You don't want to force... You don't want to force anybody to continue to do something that they don't want to do. Uh, that's that's just not... You know, I, I like I said, I, I understand from a work perspective, you know, you get paid to do what you do. You sort of have to do what you need to do to pay your bills. But th- that's a different, you know... It's a different situation than with the gaming thing. You choose to game. You sort of are requisitely, tangentially required to work. You don't have to, I suppose, if you really want to get you know all into the nitty gritty with me. But um, no, that, what I'm saying though is just uh, you know look at your friends, make sure that you are fostering a a good environment at your table, and uh, always be understanding of what they are going through and be able to have a conversation with them and be able to express hard things. You know, it, this goes the other way too. If you're the GM and you hate the game you are running, you hate doing it. It feels like a chore to do the activity of being a GM or being a DM and to tell this slog of a story that you do not enjoy. You as well cannot continue to do that. You know, in absence of your your own happiness for your players. So you do need to have conversations. Um, and the, the whole point of the podcast, everything you've kind of talked about, is that you can tell games that are centered around what your players like and be able to interject your own flair 
and excitement into that game. Okay, that's the marriage of like the perfect games. All right, you can tell those over and over again, and you're allowed to experiment with your players because nothing is so bad that you can't do it once or twice. Uh, things get real bad when you can when you have to do them over and over and over again. That's that's when things get really tough and really bad. Um, so, anyways, like I said, what what's going to come next? out of this podcast uh what what are we going to do next well uh you know coming up next I, i've got to talk to some other people that uh, i know um uh, maybe some other gm friends uh see if maybe i can get a rotating co-host uh in here it's not somebody who is strictly uh confined to, you got to do this every week on this day blah 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 but instead, I, 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 I've got other friends who are GMs who might be able to hop on and I would say better have more flexible schedules than what, what Jared has. And, and I know Jared very well. Um, I, you know, I know what his schedule is like and I know how difficult it was ever to you know, do, do a last minute recording with Jared, um, which is why we were always trying to build up a a backlog. So the the podcast itself should be more current in terms of uh, the the week that it's recorded and how relevant it is to the uh, the existing kind of conversation. Um, so that's something that's going to shift with the podcast is that you know if you ask a question that week, you should get an answer in the podcast that week. Uh, before we had a bunch of episodes backlogged in case you know things happened where we just couldn't you know get a podcast out uh, I always had one in the wings to be able to to, to provide to you um, but you know now we're going to kind of shift over this and again there, there was probably going to be a couple of musing episodes for myself of talking about different uh, subjects I do have a bunch of different subjects in the hopper uh, for us going forward um, but I'll see if I can find some other DMs I've got like I said, I've got a couple others and I think some of them might be interested in, in hopping on sharing their experience as a DM and being able to offer that insight to you. And then, you know, to you, the listeners, uh, I, you know, you are DMS as well. Your feedback into the podcast is invaluable, uh, in terms of being able to provide, you know, content and, uh, your thoughts and, you know, really kind of making this a truly a, a DM I wouldn't say just a DM centric show, but a, a show about gaming in general. And so like, Hey, I see this happening in my game and this is how I handle these things. And so, you know, again, we, we always talk about, you know, you can send us anything at level up your gaming podcast at gmail.com and we'll, we'll look it over. We'll read it. And we love answering questions and kind of going forward with that. Um, and I still see Jared every week. Uh, so, I mean, I can pick his brain on any subject and I will, and then I will transfer that knowledge onto you. So it's not like he's completely gone from the podcast here. You know, if you're like, boy, I want to, I always want to know how would Jared have handled this thing? Um, I, I can, I can still ask him those questions and I am going to ask him those questions. So if you send us an email, I'm going to provide uh, you answers not just from my perspective, but also from Jared in the podcast as well. Uh, I think he was he's you know too good of a resource to pass up for that. And you know I'll probably pick his brain on future subjects too. So you'll always get a little flair of Jared. You just won't unfortunately have as much of the uh, the derailing nature <laughs> of his of his uh you know storytelling that he he used to tell. Um, and then uh you know. I'm still growing as a GM myself, but you know, I'm going to keep providing uh, insight as my, as I grow as a GM um, and you know how I keep trying to level up my gaming. And you'll I, you should have a pretty good sense if you've been listening to this podcast for a while about the style that I GM in. And I, I follow a lot of what Jared does. Um, I I'm not as good in I, there. There's definitely areas that I need to improve uh, to take my GMing to the next level, um, and I I'll, I'll talk about maybe where I 
have my blind spots as a GM, uh, maybe that'll be the next episode that we, we end up doing here. Um, but then I will probably also offer more uh, insight into our current games that we have going on uh, from myself as a player going into Jared's games. Or, you know, if I am running a game, you'll get insight into, you know, what I did that night and, you know, I can express to you what I I feel are the, you know, missing pieces in that story and, and you know, what, I, what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong and what, what, you know, the players are latching on to. I'd be able to give you a little bit of food for thought for, uh, for trying to set up, you know, a game. Um, and, you know, maybe somewhere down the line, uh, when things calm down with Jared's life, you know, maybe he'll jump on as a featured guest, uh, from time to time and be able to offer his insight again. And we'll get him on for some really fun episodes, uh, going forward. So, uh, that's going to be how the podcast is going to try to evolve here. Uh, this is going to be a shorter episode today, but again, it comes down to helping out your friends you know, your friends are the people, hopefully your friends are the people at your gaming table. Hopefully your friends with everybody there and, you know, be kind to them. You don't, you know, there, there, there might come a time when they say, I can't continue to do, you know, this hobby, or I can't continue to, uh, devote as much time to the hobby. You know, don't, don't take it personally because everybody has something going on in their life. Um, but that's going to, uh, to wrap up the episode. Uh, you know, if you want to give any well wishes to Jared, uh, or, you know, talk about maybe what you'd like to see out of the podcast going forward, uh, contact me at level up your gaming podcast at gmail.com or facebook.com slash level up your gaming. Uh, we're also on YouTube. So smash that like button and, uh, you know, review, subscribe, uh, share with a friend all that other good stuff content will continue to flow uh from this podcast and you know we'll 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 evolve this channel we'll continue to evolve our gaming we'll continue to level up our gaming together um but that's going to wrap us up for the week so have a good week everyone